Hello, in this video we're going to look at more examples of how to find equilibrium points and we're going to look at two additional cases. In the last video we looked at case one and if you recall case one was the case where we had one variable system. We had a first order system and it was autonomous. In this video we're going to look at case two and case three. So case two says we've got a 2D system, we've got two different variables we'll call them X and Y. We're still working with first order system and it is still autonomous. The steps for solving this sort of problem for finding the fixed points we will replace X sub T and X sub T minus 1 with X sub EQ. Similarly we'll do the same thing for our Y variables and then we'll solve for the ordered pairs X sub EQ, Y sub EQ. So let's do an example. Let's find all fixed points for the following system. So the first thing I need to do is replace my x variables with x sub eq and the y variables with y sub eq. So after we do that, on the left hand side for our first equation we get x sub eq equals 4 x sub eq minus y sub eq and in the second equation we get y sub eq equals 2x sub eq plus y eq. So let's work with our top equation and simplify. We'll solve the top equation for y sub eq and you've got lots of ways for solving linear systems. Those of you who have taken linear algebra can think of some additional techniques. Um, but working with our top equation, our first equation, our first equation gives us the following. If we move our 4 x sub eq over to the other side we get negative 3 x sub eq equals negative y e sub q and that implies that 3x sub eq equals y sub eq. Okay, so that was interesting information. We'll hang on to that. Let's work with our second equation. So in the second equation, we'll substitute what we know for y sub eq. We already know that y sub eq equals 3 times x sub eq, so let's substitute that in. So on the left hand side we have y sub eq equals 2x sub eq Okay, so let's work with our second equation. So our second equation let's solve for x sub eq. So if we do that, let's see what we get. Here's our original equation and if I subtract y sub eq from both sides we get 0 equals 2 x sub eq. In other words, x sub eq must equal 0. And by our work with the first equation, we know that 3 times x sub eq equals y sub eq. And so now we're ready to conclude that y sub eq equals 0. So the only fixed point for this system, there's one fixed point and it is at 0, 0. Remember these are ordered pairs. For case 3 we're going to look at higher order autonomous systems and we're going to keep our focus to uh, systems with one variable. Step 1 we're going to write as a first order model. Step 2 we'll replace x sub t and x sub t minus 1 with x sub eq and we'll solve for that equilibrium point. So here we have a higher order, we have a second order autonomous system, right? So this, this term right here, this x sub t minus 2 is kind of uh, preventing us from just using this uh, as a case 1 situation. 
So this is not a problem. What we'll do is we will define a new variable. We'll call it y sub t. And we'll say that y sub t equals x sub t minus 1. And that will be really helpful because what that will tell us is that y sub t minus 1 equals x sub t minus 2. Right? If, if y sub t equals x sub t minus 1 and we go backwards one time step, uh, we have y sub t minus 1 equals x sub t minus 2. And that can be substituted in for our equation and that will make this a first order system. Okay, so let's rewrite. So we'll rewrite our second order autonomous system as a first order system with two variables. We were given x sub t equals x sub t minus 1 minus instead of x sub t minus 2 I'm going to replace that with my y sub t minus 1 and we've created this new variable y y sub t equals x sub t minus 1. Okay now we're now we're doing well, we can proceed and replace our variables x sub t, x sub t minus 1 with x sub eq and similarly for y so let's do that We have x sub eq in the first equation equals x sub eq minus y sub eq squared plus 4. Okay, so this is equation 1. I'll just label that here so we can keep track of what we're doing. And then equation 2 was down here. By equation 2, we know that y sub eq equals x sub eq. Right? We're replacing all of those x's and y's with their respective uh, fixed point. Well, this is really helpful because we can replace into our first equation. So with our first equation we have x sub eq equals x sub eq minus y sub eq, but we know that y sub eq is x sub eq. And we can solve. So subtracting x sub eq from both sides, that piece cancels and on the left hand side we have 0. On the right hand side we have negative x sub eq squared plus 4, adding x sub eq squared to both sides. We have x sub eq squared equals 4. So x sub eq equals a positive 2 or x sub eq equals a negative 2. All right, so we're almost there. Again we have to go back and figure out what is y sub eq but we know what that is. We know that y sub eq is equal to x sub eq. So we have two fixed points in this problem. Our two fixed points are 2, 2 and 2. Our fixed points are 2, 2 and negative 2, negative 2. Notice that it would be wrong to say that x sub eq equals plus or minus 2 and y sub eq equals plus or minus 2 because that would somehow infer that maybe 2 negative 2 is a fixed point and that's definitely not the case. x and y they have to be equal. Okay, So we're not going to write our solution like that. We are going to write our answer as ordered pairs because that clarifies what we want.